Hey everyone, welcome. How is yep? I believe I'm live. How is everyone doing? I am Markel from Kanga Care. Kanga Care is a cloth diaper company hey everyone. based in oh I can hear myself <laughs> based in Golden, Colorado. And I'm gonna start in here talking to you guys about cloth diapering. Hello, there we go. We're getting some comments. Perfect. Okay, so I know a cloth diapering can be kind of um, worrisome. You can uh, it, kind of, what do I do with the poop? How do I deal with cloth diapering? It's another thing I have to learn, and I am here to ease that process for you and educate you. So I'm going to just dive right in. First thing uh, is first is for a diaper to work, um, especially a cloth diaper, you need two things. You need absorbency and you need something to make that absorbency waterproof. So Kangi Care is known for the Rumparoos. This is the original Rumparoos was started all here for Kangi Care. It is a one size pocket diaper. So the pocket diaper means quite literally that there's a pocket and this is where the absorbency goes in. And I'm going to talk about that here in a little bit. But I'm just going to talk about the waterproof portion of the diaper. So what does a one size mean? One size means that the diaper is going to fit all the way from newborn. So let me show you the newborn. As you can hear, probably, I have snaps. And I'm snapping this diaper into the newborn setting. So there's all of these snaps. And you can't see the rise snaps anymore. So here's the newborn setting. I'm going to show you how tiny this diaper can get. So here is the newborn. You can see how tiny the holes are. So you can cloth diaper right at the hospital. Um, either you can put the diaper on your little one first. The nurse may ask you, hey, would you like to put the diaper on? Or if you're having a home birth, you will be putting the diaper on. Um, but you can cloth diaper right right at the hospital or you can wait till you get home but as you can see it'll fit at six pounds we do have options for preemies um if that's kind of, it's a different diaper newborn diaper but this diaper will fit at six pounds so you can see how tiny it gets and then it gets to the largest setting and this is when it'll fit for 35 plus pounds on your toddler so you can see how large it can get. So when a diaper is a one size, it means it's a, a one diaper with four sizes. So there's four different sizes on this diaper. You can see here there's these different rise settings. So when I, you can't see any of these. The first I just showed you was the newborn. And as your baby grows, you're going to change these different settings. Let me show you really quick. I'll just put it on the medium setting. Um, so you're going to change these different settings to fit your little one. Let me get this here for you. So a lot of people may be worried, I just, you know, how do I know if I have the right size on my little one? I'm kind of worried about fit. I hear all the time about, you know, getting the right fit in the cloth diaper. Does it fit like a disposable? Good news. Amy, she's here commenting. Um, she's here with us. I don't know if she's commented yet. She is our customer care. She's based out of Oregon. She works from home. But she is amazing. She will help you with your fit and function. I teased yesterday, we went live at our booth, and I said, when you buy from King of Care, you get Amy and I as a gift with purchase, and it's so true. We are here to go on this cloth diaper journey with you. We do have a Facebook group that you can join. It's uh, full of so many other families who are cloth diapering, so you can kind of get some different perspectives too. But we are here to help you get the perfect fit on your little one. So here is the medium. And what we really gauge the different sizes by are weight range, depending on this uh, size. Like I said, it starts around six pounds and goes all the way up to 35 plus pounds for your little one. So here is what makes the diaper waterproof. So now you can see the sizing. Let's go into the interior of the diaper. Kanga Care is known for our patent and double gussets. This design is exclusive to Kanga Care. These two gussets right here, are what make blowouts impossible if you have a good fit. I know that seems beyond, especially if you're a new parent or if you have children already, you know that blowouts are something that can happen quite frequently. If you have a good fit with a cloth diaper, we can promise you won't have a blowout. It very rarely ever, ever happens. And if it does, it's usually due to a fit that isn't as perfect as it could be. So 
the sidewall gussets right here help with the no blowouts. And then there's the elastic on the back. So this would what, what would be on the back of the baby. So back of the diaper and the front of the diaper. So no blowups going up, blowouts going up their back, which I know a lot of times that can be kind of like, oh, that newborn poop, and there's just something about it that it can just go everywhere. So there you go, and there you have it for the blowouts. And I'll kind of talk about what do I do with the poop here in a little bit after I get done showing you the basic features of the diaper. So in here, you can see inside the pocket, there is this TPU right here. This is what makes the diaper waterproof. The, the blue part. This is Aquarius. This is one of our solid colors for our lineup. And um, this is what makes the diaper waterproof. And you will put the absorbency in here, as I said a little bit ago. This white part of the diaper is micro chamois. So it's hyperallergenic material, which is amazing. A lot of people cloth diaper for a few things. First, they will cloth diaper for the sensitivity of their baby's skin or for the health reasons. There are a lot of chemicals and disposables. Disposables, there are some companies who are using better material and they promise that um, you know you can still use this disposable and that it's not bleached, so on and so on. However, with a cloth diaper, there's no chemicals involved at all. And what's coming in contact with your baby in the rump roos is this micro chamois that's hyperallergenic. So helps the baby's skin. Number two is savings, which I'll talk about here in a little bit, and the environment. No disposable diaper has began to be decomposed. We don't know when that process is going to start, but since the first disposable diaper, they have it. Well, with cloth diapers, not only will you save, but you'll be saving the environment. And these rumparoos can be used for multiple children, which is super duper awesome. So, if you say, hey, I know this is kind of a big upfront cost. I'm just not sure if I want to do this. Don't worry. Yes, it's a higher upfront cost, but you're going to save close to $3,000, which is amazing. And you're going to save that money again if you use the cloth diapers for your next child. So you'll save even more. So I'll talk about pricing here a little bit when I get done with this. So here is the exterior layer of the rumparoos. This is what I said you need. You need two things, waterproof to make a cloth diaper, and then you need absorbency. So here are our microfiber inserts. This comes with a rumparoos. It is what we call a 6R soaker. So let me snap this together. This is exactly how it'll arrive. You know that lighting? Oh, there we go. You can kind of see it has this contour newborn layer or newborn insert, and then there's the one size, and they snap um, into different variations. So that's really why we like pocket diapers here at Canyon Care, because you can adjust the absorbency to your baby's needs. No baby pees is the same. Um, your first baby and your second baby, they're all going to pee different. Um, it's crazy. So what's really wonderful with the rubberoos is you can adjust the absorbency due to your little one. Your first baby may pee really quick all at once. Your, your other baby may kind of tinkle ever so often. There's just so many different ways. And with the insert, you can um, find that perfect absorbency. So on the newborn setting that I had the diaper on, it's now on a medium, but when I had it on the newborn setting, you would use this newborn microfiber insert. Why we like microfiber here, especially for newborns, is because microfiber is the fastest absorbing material we offer at Kanga Care. As your baby grows and you need more absorbency, you can snap this back on to the one size to get the layers, or you can just use the one size, but you can also snap for a boy, more, more absorbency in the front, or for the girl, more absorbency in the middle. And that's why we call it the six R soaker because there's six different settings for um, the inserts to go inside the diaper. So these two things are all you need to cloth diaper. Those are the main functions. Um, I have some questions coming through. I'm going to hurry up and keep going and then I will get to the questions. And I think Amy's here answering some of them, um, for me. So, oh, I, oh, a whole bunch just came through. Okay. Let me finish talking about this. So how do I keep, like, what do I do with the poop? That's like the number one question we get. I, I, I love the idea of cloth diapering. Sounds great. I don't want to do the extra load of laundry. 
However, you're going to be doing a load of laundry with the newborn poop or any poop they're going to have, blowouts, you're going to have poop on them, up their back, on their clothes, on you. It's going to be a disaster in their car seat. If you do cloth diapers, you're not going to have that and an extra load of laundry. I personally, I have a six-month-old right now, um, and it's not any more of a load of laundry. Let me tell you why. So for a successful, for Kenny Care's recommended wash routine, you're going to have a pre-wash, and this pre-wash it has all the diapers in it and you're going to get all of the waste off of the diapers then you're going to have your second main wash and this is when you can add socks you can add onesies you can add you can add whatever whatever you need um that are their clothes or um their swaddles you can put that in that load and so it's really not an extra load of laundry for you and I um we do recommend having good detergents that's kind of another side note um you want to have a good wash routine um and here at Kang and Care if you purchase our cloth diapers Amy like I said earlier she is amazing she will specify a wash routine for your machine all you do is send her a picture of your panel to hello at kangacare.com and she writes you up your own wash routine what's going to work best for your specific machine so we're making sure we're getting those diapers as clean as possible and while you're at it you can send a picture of your little one in the rumper roos and she'll give you a fit check so it's really a win-win um we're here the entire journey we help you purchase your bundles which we do have um expo bundle pricing they're at the top right up here um, they're up to 35% off. We have an all-in bundle and it's everything you need to cloth diaper. So within that bundle, you get 24 rumper roos. That's washing every two to three days. If you are in a humid client climate, you definitely want to be washing every two to three days. Um, and then what you're going to do after you take the dirty diaper change, you're going to put it in this wet bag. So you get two wet bags. The wet bag is amazing. We also get the question, I just don't really want to smell the diapers. You're not going to smell them, I promise. You're going to put them in this wet bag. It hooks wonderfully on hooks. It comes unsnapped, so you can put it around anything, around a doorknob, um, around the changing station, or you can put it pack and play. Sometimes have a little loop, and you can put this through and put it on the loop wherever you need wet bags. And it does come with two wet bags and the all-in bundle. You get a changing pad, which is amazing. It's pretty much a flat rumper ruse. So you have this bottom layer right here that's TPU, which is what the wet bag's made out of. So no water can get in and no water can get out. And it has this industrial zipper, so smell stays in. So for the changing pad, you have that TPU that's waterproof. You have another interior layer that's microfiber so those changing pads absorb it and then you have that micro chamois that's on top of the rumper roos that's that hyperallergenic material so it's really soft against your baby's skin and it is larger than the standard changing pad how amazing so you get everything you need to cloth diaper in those bundles and they're up to 35 percent off like i said the upfront cost can be kind of scary it's 400 dollars, and i think sometimes people are like oh that's really expensive well, it's really convenient and the upfront cost, yes, maybe a little bit more. We do have sizzle if that helps you, um, but it is going to help um, you save so much money, especially with the pandemic. Uh, the price of disposable diapers went up quite a bit just because they were in really high demand and people were very worried um, that we were going to run out of them. So prices have gone up. So we used to say you would save up nearly $2,000, but really you're going to save closer to 3000 just now with the prices of disposables going up. And that's just with one baby. You will save so much more um, if you use the same diapers over and over again. And I'm going to get to questions because I have only a few more minutes. Um, so let me get up here and I'm going to try to answer as many as I can. I know this is really quick. It's a lot of information. We are going to head over to our booth after I get off this stage and I will really be able to dive into specific questions. I just want to give you a quick rundown. Okay, here we go. Oh goodness, I have so many questions. I feel like I'm missing a ton of them. <laughs> so many. Okay. Um. Here we go. Um, yeah, super worried about the poop. Don't worry. I think a lot of the husbands, I'm not categorizing. It's just the husbands really seem to have a hard time with like understanding the poop. What am I going to do with this poop? If your baby is breastfed, 
Um, it's an organic material. Think of it as mud, which is kind of kind of be hard for us to think about, but it is. It's an organic material. You just put the poop in the washer, do that pre pre wash, and the poop will come off. If you're doing formula or once they start having solids, this is when we can talk about peanut butter poop. It is because it's like the peanut butter texture, and this is when you can either use a sprayer. You, if you've done any cloth diapering, uh research you can get sprayers and you just put it on your toilet spray it out um some machines are wonderful and you don't have to spray some people are like i don't want that poop in my washer you just spray it off super either easy there's the duncan swish technique and you just fold the diaper i have one in my hand fold the diaper inside out so the poop would be here you just kind of swish it in the toilet and the poop comes right off of this hyperallergenic micro chamois it's like think of kind of like a sham wow material um, and it'll come right off and then pretty soon they get past that peanut butter and we call it ploppable poop. So the only time that the poop is a ploppable, they might be kind of sick. Um, the poop changes when your little one's teething or, um, just kind of their stomach's a little upset, but other past the peanut butter, it's ploppable. You just plop the poop into the, um, toilet and then put it right back in the wet bag and like I said some people don't even worry about that stage and they just put it right into the washer so I know a lot of people worry about the poop you're gonna have to deal with poop with <laughs> the newborn um either with blowouts or in it going everywhere or why not keep it contained within the romper rose okay hello everybody so many hellos one size is so handy and i know a lot of times people are like i don't want to have to sit there and stuff these diapers every single time it's amazing to have a pocket diaper because you get to change your absorbency i can say firsthand briggs he's my little boy who, who i said six months his pee patterns have changed insane one week i think we're like okay we're starting to figure out and then i need to change his absorbency the next week because he has a growth spurt and it's so easy because i have these other two inserts i play around with them get them in there you won't even have to play around with them you can just email amy say hey i have some leaks can you help me or you can ask in our facebook group um let me grab that link for you you can just ask in our facebook group and we can help you get um the help you need okay let me hurry up to do that all right hey marnie how are you so good to see you over here. I'm seeing some familiar faces, so it's so good. All right. So this doesn't look as bulky as cloth diapers I have seen. So we do have our covers and prefolds, and those can be a little bit bulkier um, of a solution. Rumperoos, they are, we like to call them rumps. Um, so you can see these babies behind me. Uh, they with microfiber it can be a little bit um let me stuff this diaper for you a, a fluffy they have a little fluffy tush we do have bamboo and hemp inserts you can upgrade for um upgrade to those for a higher cost but the the butts i want to they're really adorable <laughs> um but yes you can get some trimmer fits especially if you have a good fit um it will look trimmer okay Um, my toddler weighs more than the 35 pounds, so it would possibly be better. So, yes, you could just order one and see if it's going to work out. That's a great option, too. I do want to let you guys know if you kind of heard from some moms like, hey, we cloth diapered, but they just seemed like they were we were going to outgrow them, so we got rid of them. Don't do that. So, right when you think your little baby, they're like all chubby and really adorable, and you're like, I think they're going to outgrow this. They grow through the growth spurt because they start walking and crawling, and they lean out quite a bit, and they it's really kind of sad. <laughs> they kind of start losing those rolls, and the cloth diapers, I promise, will keep fitting even though their weight is going up. Just a little FYI. Okay, does it fit okay with the cord on a newborn? Yes, it does. Do not worry. We do have little joeys right here. They're super cute. I'll talk about them in the booth when I get done. They do have cord down protection. However, if you just want to use rumpers in the hospital, I personally did um, with the cord stump. Don't even worry about this. Micro chamois is really soft um, and it will not rub. You have no irritation right there. All right, what about staining? If you do have any staining, we recommend you just lay it out in the sun and the sun takes care of the staining. Sometimes they'll have acidic poops, like if they eat bananas, banana can add some staining, blueberries, um, some newborn poop just can kind of stain. Don't worry about that. You can just lay the inserts or what have you out in the sun for a little bit and the stain comes right out. So no worry about staining as long as you have a good wash routine. Um. 
Around what percentage of mothers use cloth diapers? I don't know what it is after the pandemic. Cloth diapers went up. Oh, I'm almost done. Went up really, um, became very popular during the pandemic. So I know that number has grown. How many diapers should I get? You want to have 24. Um, okay, I'm going to wrap up because I only have like a minute. So there is the bundle. It's up to 35% off. It's exclusive just for the show. So it's only till Wednesday up to 35% off. It's unheard of it's what we um offer only for the prego expo it's everything you need to cloth diaper and if you have any more questions please come join me over in the booth and i will continue this conversation and i am so sorry i didn't get through everyone's questions um I can review washing if you join me over in the booth. It's super easy. I will talk about my own testimonial. Yes, I'm an employee of King Care, but I'm also a user of the product and I love it. So perfect. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you over there and we'll be live tonight in our booth from six to eight. So see you later, guys.